if immigration officials were to review social media posts by foreigners applying for visas. This is twilight zone level insanity. I mean, if I was a manager at McDonald's and I wanted to hire a guy to serve french fries at the drive-thru, you can bet your ass that I'd probably check out his Facebook page before I decided to hire him. But yet in today's Obamaville, USA, they are more concerned about a civil liberty backlash than they are about protecting our nation from terrorists. Unbelievable. Well, the long-anticipated Star Wars movie is finally in theaters. And you know, without question, the Star Wars movies have had a huge impact on popular culture. And George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, says that deep down, everyone knows that the greatest threat to liberty isn't the average criminal on the street, but the monolithic, all-powerful state, the New World Order. The human desire to resist tyranny is one of the strongest drives we have. George Lucas did a really good job of portraying that in his movies. For example, Star Wars Episode 3, The Revenge of the Sith, well, it's about as sci-fi as you can get, but it mirrors reality, and it details the psychology of government-sponsored terrorism as a tool of empire. Not understand, wait. And they actually wrote articles, Emperor Palpatine's attacking himself, it makes no sense. Adults cannot understand children level ideas, okay? Child level ideas, child level. Now Star Wars The Force Awakens is the new film now in theaters, this time produced by Disney and directed by J.J. Abrams. And it continues the cinematic saga of an interplanetary civilization's struggles with galactic war and tyranny. The plot of the new Star Wars movie frighteningly resembles modern day America, as global warfare driven by a planetary empire thrusts the world into a militarized police state. Once again, science fiction mirrors reality. Infowars.com. Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to get my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which what I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity, 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here late, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu, and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago, I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes, and now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things and if it has those kind of effects for me i know that it will do great things for you so just try super male vitality i promise you you'll love it and finally let's look at anthony gucciardi infowars.com reporter he also works with dr group and others helping develop the newest most cutting edge high quality supplements Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena, and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle. And Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. My friends, this is a very special edition of InfoWars Facebook Mentions. We are going live uh, right now at 249 Central standard time here in Austin, Texas, and then transmitting worldwide on the 16th day of December 2015 on this Wednesday edition. Now, we're also shooting an HD in here so that tomorrow we can have a more produced piece with added evidence that will premiere on the InfoWars and Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central on the 17th of December. So that's tomorrow. That's Thursday. But we're talking to our millions of viewers. Average video gets over 500,000 views on Facebook mentions right now with breaking news because there's been some new developments. Now, you see the title of this video, uh, obviously, dealing with the fact that there's an investigation to the Bush family and Jeb Bush to the Nazis. Now, I was one of the people that was involved in breaking this uh, and popularizing it back in 2003 and 2004, and I'm about to show you uh, those articles and more. But it's important to understand that the Bushes aren't this little sweetsy, cutesy family uh, that you've been told they are. George Herbert Walker Bush is the son of Prescott Bush, who in congressional hearings, the McCormick Dickstein committee hearings that were sealed and then declassified just a few decades ago and basically buried, they were the head Nazi lawyers, not just for the US, but for Latin America and major Nazi shipping firms. And when the Nazis collapsed in 1945, they helped get the Nazis, 36,000 of them in the rat line, Operation Paperclip, out of Germany, Italy, and other areas. Now, this was known, but only by people like Smedley Butler, who testified secretly to Congress. This didn't come out again until the 80s, but it was in no publications because no one dare go to the declassified documents. That's until people like John Buchanan for the New Hampshire Gazette came out in October 10th, 2003, Bush Nazi linked confirmed. Then he came out in November, Bush Nazi link continued. If you move on from that point with those articles, you then see a year later, September 2004, the London Guardian with the headline, 
how Bush's grandfather helped Hitler rise to power. Notice, it's broken by InfoWars via the Gazette. We had him on within days of this coming out. Uh, some of the publishers uh, over at some of the Patriot Publishing Houses had also put out books along this line exposing it. It had come out in some other congressional hearings as well. But we're about to get into the full depth of all of this. Here's another Guardian article from July of 2015. But this was also in hundreds of other publications. Queen's Nazi salute footage raises pressure on royals to open archives. Type in British royals with Nazis. You'll get hundreds of them with the King of England, her uncle, uh, with their families. They were German. But, well, really, actually, Romanian or Hungarian. They're actually Transylvanian. They're not even German. Who, who, who are the House of Windsor. Windsor's a fake name. They are Gothas. Saxe Coburg Gothas. Uh, and are directly related to their original lineage of Vlad the Impaler or the original person, the legend of Dracula, the Drac, the dragon, uh, comes from. You cannot make this level of stuff up. Now, before I get into the info that's in the committee hearings and that's in the research, here's a headline. Trump exposed how Bush family, in last night's debate on the 15th, Trump exposed how Bush family helped bin Laden's escape after 9-11. While all air traffic grounded after 9-11, then President Bush flew bin Laden family out of the country. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, girlfriends, and they were put into planes and they were sent back for the most part to Saudi Arabia. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. They were having breakfast that day at the Carlisle Group in DC, Bush Sr. and the head of the bin Laden family at that table out of a thousand people there. They are deeply involved. So this shows how they are literally like James Bond criminals. Now, Jeb Bush has been connected to all sorts of evil. Zapata oil to narcotics trafficking. Uh, again, his dad was made the CIA director, supposedly when he'd never been in the CIA. He, of course, is part of Skull and Bones, itself a German death cult. I'm not saying that this is a German death cult we're facing. I'm not saying there's a Germanic, satanic conspiracy that we face. I'm showing where this particular crime family comes from. I've snuck into Bohemian Grove. I've covered Skull and Bones. I've interviewed all the experts. I've been on Brad Metzler's shows. I've been all over History Channel, Discovery Channel, True TV interviewed on this. I am a leading expert. I have four shows on Discovery and History right now interviewing me on secret societies and elites, okay? So I've done my research. I've made the films. I've been there. I've done it. I'm not bragging to the folks on Facebook mentions. I'm not bragging to the folks that are watching this tomorrow night on the nightly news, but Facebook mentions gets the first live sneak peek. I am going over all this. You need to understand, this is not my opinion. Now, here's the rest of the story. <laughs> we know that they were the German's top lawyer. We know it came out in the committees that they were hiring, uh, hiding billions of dollars in 1930s and 40s money in accounts, in shipping firms, in construction firms, in major Manhattan building firms, in firms in Houston, in firms in San Diego. I mean, we're talking huge global shipping concerns, oil companies. And then you wonder why the Nazis were allowed to flee, not to Russia, but to the US and Latin America, the Bushes were considered too big to fail, even though they tried to hire uh, Smedley Butler. This came out in congressional hearings. Read about it. To overthrow the government with a 500,000-man force for the Nazis, basically, install a fascist dictator. That's why Hitler didn't take America seriously. When they finally got busted, they thought, this will hurt America too bad if it comes out. We'll make the Bushes be double agents against the Nazis. We'll make the Brown Brother Harrimans be double agents. Uh, and... We'll wake the Kennedys. We're also all Nazi agents. It, it's, that's on Discovery Channel. Uh, that, that's known. This isn't known. That, that JFK, uh, his brother, th they weren't bad guys. They got infiltrated by sex operatives, beautiful German uh, women. Uh, they thought the Germans were going to take over. They didn't know. This is in the 30s before Hitler was a bad guy in the public. He was a good guy in Time Magazine. So I'm not saying the Kennedys were overall bad. They weren't actual lawyers for the Nazis. They were just fans of it at a certain level. His father was. Uh, Joe Kennedy Sr. And so they were both, uh, in fact, we can put articles up about that once we put a more produced piece out showing you all these other points I'm making because it's just fascinating. The Bushes, though, were actually at the top of the pyramid. They weren't under the control of sex operatives and, you know, Joe Kennedy getting letters from Hitler and doing some business with him. Uh, this was hardcore, kind of like George Soros was a Nazi collaborator helping round up Jews and ferret them out and infiltrate synagogues 
in, in Hungary and Romania and other areas to round them up.